Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the results. They are in for web browser page load speed. Now, um, I want to say this is non-scientific. I did not use software or any special method that a lot of people say, well, you should do this and you should make that and you should prevent this from happening. And it's like, no, this is real world test of let's load pages and just take how much time it takes to load. And of course, not just once because there's all sorts of varying results coming from that, but 10 times each. So basically what I did is I opened up six pages. The pages are neowin.net, tarot.com, lapresse.ca, which is a local French language newspaper here, spaceweather.com, youtube.com, and computerworld.com. Each has more or less things on it to display and of course, it kind of tests all sorts of technologies within the browser. And uh, the interesting and what will also be really nice is that on many pages, the 10 times that I've actually loaded the pages, the same ads were there. Because of course, I removed everything, ad blocks, everything that could be changing the speed of the web page loading. And I have a little result of my own on the ad blocks for those that uh, say it makes um, faster browsing. So here's the thing. Um, 10 times I've loaded each page, 10 times I've actually timed how long it takes for everything to appear on the page. And I mean everything. If there was a little you know, square with an ad in it and it wasn't there, I'd wait for that ad to actually show up. So um, of course, it means there are some um, results that actually vary due to not necessarily always the browser itself uh, that I do agree with because some ads and some of the content might sometimes sometimes just take a longer time to arrive from a certain place so there are parts of it that is browser parts of it is yes sometimes that's why I actually loaded a page ten times by loading 10 times, I could actually see uh, more of a regular result because most of the times it would load pretty much at the same pace. The variations in speed were not that great. That actually converts my thinking that these results are actually not too bad because results were similar. And if I had a page load that was really, really long because of one ad that wouldn't show up, I would restart so sometimes I do the test 12, 13, 14 times on a browser because I knew that, okay, the problem here is not the browser, it's the ad network that has to deliver the ad that has a problem. So I would not count these, so not to kind of, you know, change the results. So it gave me results that, you know what, are relatively similar on each page and each browser. So that means um, if I loaded 10 times a page on Edge, well, that page would pretty much load always close to the same speed with a variation of more or less one second most of the time. So what are the results and what's the fastest browser around? What's the slowest browser? Well, the results are going to be very interesting because of um, the, the new Firefox quantum browser that says it's the fastest around. And I'll have my own personal observations on that. Uh, when you see the results, you are going to do, really? That's what I have. And of course, like I said, non-scientific. Here are the results. Fastest browser, Opera, with an average of 3.2 seconds loading speed for all of the pages that I've tested. Second, not very far behind, Microsoft Edge with an average of 3.7 seconds of loading speed. Third, Google Chrome, it averaged 4.2 seconds. And you know, yesterday when I did my review, I said, wow, the pages seem to load fast. Firefox Quantum average five seconds is the slowest of all the browsers. Now, you're gonna say, how can that be? I really think Firefox loads page faster. Here's the trick. 
because I was extremely interested in the fact that how can it seem faster but still be slower? And it's all in the details of how the pages appear. Firefox Quantum will actually start by the content and some browsers sometimes when the content is not fully loaded, when everything is not fully loaded, there's kind of a hang there until the page is fully there. Well, Firefox Quantum, they've actually been able to, even if the page is not finished loading, you can actually go through it and, and, and you know, as if it was already there. So even if ads are missing, even if part of the content is missing, you can still go through the web page. That gives us the impression of a fast browser. And actually, it is technically because the content that you want to view is prioritized in quantum. And that's why it seems faster. And frankly, in that regard, it probably is faster than everything else. So that means in loading everything, it's longer. In loading the important information, it's faster. So that's the interesting part here. So yes, Firefox Quantum is faster, but it's faster because it actually prioritizes the important stuff that you want to watch on a web page. So that's the thing. Because for the rest, in actual time of a full loading of a page, the average is telling me that Firefox Quantum is actually slower than everything else. So that is very, very interesting results as you see here. Non-scientific, I know some people are going to say, well, that's not how you do tests. This is totally, you know, look, uh, it's non-scientific, but I think it's a darn good, um, a darn good result. And I will tell you why also I think these results are pretty good. Each browser pretty much kept the same position on almost every web page, meaning Opera was almost always first except for one web page, which is Space Weather. Microsoft Edge was almost always second, except for one page, which was Computer World, which was number one. Google Chrome averaged almost always the third position in every pages. You know, when you see that it's so consistent when you do your test, you kind of understand that, well, okay, it, it truly looks like uh, it pretty much are interesting results that I can actually count on. And um, basically, on the 10 times of loading of each page on each browser, except for maybe a variation sometimes of one result that was kind of far off, um, almost every result of the 10, you know, nine out of the 10 times, the, actually the number of seconds would stay within a one, one and a half second of the result, which means, okay, yeah, it's pretty much its speed. And when you average it, it gives you this. So uh, here it is, guys, the, the results that I have. Uh, take it as you are and uh, take it as you want. But uh, interesting, it is interesting. Google Chrome doesn't surprise me being turned because although it is, um, it, it, you know, it, it shows up the pages and everything, I always found Chrome kind of a little sluggish compared to Edge that I use all the time. And so here it kind of shows half a second. Might not seem a lot, but it is actually enough that you kind of see the difference most of the time. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of find it interesting that Opera is on the, is the number one though. Uh, half a second also, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's a full second faster than, op, than Chrome, which is interesting because it does share the same core you know, uh, Opera uses Chromium, but I guess the way they use it, the way they've actually expanded Chromium is kind of different. And uh, maybe Google Chrome has, you know, a few things that change the way page load. So these are the results. Hope you enjoyed this. Took me all afternoon to do this. You know, I mean, uh, watching some, uh, streaming some stuff on the internet and um, basically, you know, loading web pages and looking at what time it takes and so on. And of course, one of the things that you got to uh, think about here, because you might say, well, these are longer than on my browser. Remember that I have, you know, your, the laptop needs to load some of the stuff sometimes. So that also has to do with a part of it is the speed of the computer itself. But uh, 
I think if you can take that and you know have a faster computer, you'll have probably um, you know web pages that load maybe a little faster. But I think the order of the web page speed, Opera, Edge, Chrome, and Firefox would maintain the same number, the same spot within that uh, little um, test. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. What do you think of the results? It's kind of interesting when you think about it. And I want to have some feedback on this. Hope you enjoyed this little test.